It's Friday, April the 11th. We are looking at uh, E-mini S&P daily chart. Yesterday we, uh, well, the last day or two we were looking for a bounce from, uh, let me see, we were buying it down here at the, in 1834.32. That worked really nicely. We ran those up uh, and then we were looking for the selling opportunity up to 1868. We got to 1867.5 yesterday, so if we managed to get into some shorts, this trade worked really nicely. Uh, we plunged down to the 100 day moving average. I didn't run my, my shorts that long. I got out in the uh, mid 1830s, but uh, we we continued lower to the 100 day moving average at 1824, uh, 1823 area. And I think that's decent enough support to, uh, to hold for today anyway. Um, stabilize maybe not race back up again today but I think we can stabilize above this 1824 1823 area just starting to get a bit oversold on a daily chart um, four hour chart short term chart yeah definitely getting uh, more oversold here as well so as I say I'm looking for more of a base today base building rather than um, necessarily a us rocketing back up again. If we were to go high, we're going to have to get through 1834, then we can push on to 1840, 41, and I don't think we're going to beat that today. Um, but you can see the report for uh, the written report for various levels if we were to continue higher. Obviously, a break below 1823 is going to be a problem. A close below here tonight, remember it's Friday, it's the end of the week, so a weekly close is always more important than a daily close. And if we were to close below the 100 day moving average tonight, well, yep, that's certainly going to add pressure for next week. And you can see that longer term, we could be heading as far as uh, 1797, 1796 next week, if that were to happen tonight.